we built Thursday food companies for ourselves, for our friends, our family, where we wanted the highest quality product at a great price. And we really think a lot about the use case and, and what product do we want and why do we want it and where do we think about wearing it. So it, it starts with the ideation, which a lot of times comes either from customer feedback or you know being people who love wearing boots and uh, well all of our products. Uh, just thinking about what do we want and thinking about the use case and what we're excited to make. Frankly, um, once we have that, we go into the design process, um, which either I'm mocking something up or one of the partners here is mocking something up, and we're deciding who is the project lead, a lot of time that, that goes to um, who's most passionate. Um, but I really try to be collaborative with uh, all our team members here and um, make sure everyone has the opportunity to, to weigh in and add their spice to the mix. First, I received the idea. Uh, what is the last, the, the shape that we want to do, if it's for a lady or if it's for a boy, and if it's something formal or no, not too much. And then we prepare some sketches, some lines, and if they approve me the idea, I have to pass here. When we decide uh, what is the best way for to continue the line, we have to check all the details about exactly what is the quality of the, of the sole, um, that it's easy to produce for the factory, that we have a good quality. From there, we, we, we go into prototyping and sampling. Either we're working off of an existing last or developing our own last. What is a last? El primer paso que la compañía diseña o eh, crea para elaborar su eh, producto final. Es importantísimo eh, las medidas, porque aquí lo, lo que se trata es de conseguir la comodidad de que el cliente use unos zapatos eh, que le sean cómodos pero a la vez bonitos. Es una combinación entre elegancia y comodidad. Ese es el reto. El siguiente proceso es se copia eh, usando esa estructura elegida, se copia un, un pie en madera y ya se esculpe a mano, checando medidas y eh, trabajándolo hasta que conseguimos el resultado eh, óptimo que queremos. Cuando ya tenemos la horma OK, ya eh, la madera está perfecta, la pasamos a, a digitalizar a 3D y la pasamos al sistema para producción en serie en polietileno. Basically, we're always looking for uh, 
good stuff, leather, leather stuff, you know, if, uh, if I, can, I can say that, is natural type leathers, leathers that will uh, remain the same with the time or maybe more beautiful. We're working with vegetal, uh, vegetal tan leathers right now. It's uh, one of my favorite leathers in the world and also uh, with rugged, rugged leathers. I like, you know, the rugged style. I think most of the, our customers like that rugged style. So how we actually started with the Rugged Brazilian, um, our COO, Rich Corelli, um, I had a bunch of samples in our office in New York, and there was a leather that, um, I won't say which one, because it's still live, that he really liked. And he's like, oh, like, I want this boot. And Ass actually is like, can you make this my size? And I wasn't really thinking about launching that leather, it was just kind of a test. And it that opened up uh, the way I was thinking about it, of going more rugged, so we launched that and did really well. Then we launched things like the Tobacco President. With that, we wanted something that, that had the pull-up, that really met that qualification of being something that you could just beat the you-know-what out of while still looking good and almost looking better beat up. Uh, we are giving uh, that specific leather more waxes, a little bit more of oils and uh, different texture. Right now, and I think it changes a lot, um, we're having a lot of fun with suede, and I think um, what we're doing with the oil snuff suede is um, pretty original with our type of boots and just working with partners to perfect how we want it with the right luster, with the right nap. Um, we uh, push the tannery to create new uh, re-tanning processes to make the, the, the suede more resistant. What we do is adding our spirit to the leather. So that's the way we work. Uh, we try different, uh, different uh, uh, products, uh, different natural products on the leather and different processes. Processes that could be unique on the leather. You have to be in the tannery, maybe tumble some leathers, maybe making different experiments on the leather. And then we have to make a shoe, always, a boot. We always make a boot. Once the sample is confirmed, uh, we put all the um, processes into motion with our supply base and with our factories. There are basically five primary um, phases that each factory uh, that we work with goes through. It's cutting, it's preliminary, it's stitching, it is lasting, and then finishing. Once the uh, final product has been inspected and it meets Thursday Boot Company standards for quality, uh, we then load it onto a truck and bulk ship them to a warehouse that's in the United States where they get distributed individually to our consumers, our final consumers. We're just having fun. Um, we, we love becoming, you know, the foremost experts in what we're doing. And I think it's a lot about perfecting every element of the product we're already doing, as well as continuing to push the boundaries. So expect a lot coming up from us in the next year.